Yeah. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chris Monroe. R to the O E. I flip houses, rent cars, and make money. You know I'm not no motherfucking dummy. This how we do. Dial the wrong number. Let's call from my base phone. So something going on here. I don't know if it's the dialer doing it or what, but I'm gonna call her quick. Let's see if we can do this. Hi, uh, Miss Thomas. Hi. Yes. This is Chris. You have put in a form online saying you're looking to sell your house in Florissant. How are you today? I'm well on yourself. All is well. Yeah, I was just trying to get back with you, see what's going on, and see what I can do to help. Oh, well, thank you. So, uh, what's going on with the house there? I end up chopping a gun and I left the house or whatever, so I had a lot going on. So, basically, the house is a five-bedroom, uh, three-and-a-half bath, well, two-and-a-half bath, and it's a lot of stuff that's left behind because my mother ended up moving out into an apartment. Okay. Did you want anything that's still in the house still, or are you just letting it go? Say it again. Did you want anything out of the house still, or are you going to sell it as is and just be done with it? I'm gonna sell it as is, and I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some of the stuff out of there. Okay. I'm not gonna leave everything behind. But what I can't take, I'm, you know, I can't take it because she has a two bedroom, and it's a lot just left behind. It's not like a, not a lot, lot like the kitchen set. The um, buffet and like the I have my bedroom suit and it might be some clothes and like the shoes and different stuff left behind. Oh, okay. Well, the good thing is, whatever you don't want, you can simply leave it. Whatever you do want, I say to take it with you. Um, and uh, we deal with anything you leave behind, that's not a problem. Um, and so, uh, Tell me a little bit about the condition of the house. Does it need any major repairs or anything? Or It does need repairs. I really didn't repair. I didn't do any repairs there when I was there for real. Okay. So it needs like updating for the carpet. Uh, the living room floor probably needs to be, uh, I guess, shell uh, shellac or whatever. And uh, doors, downstairs and the basement to finish stairs in the basement is two rooms one has carpet one has towel so the one with the towel need paneling in there some new paneling or whatever you're gonna do in there because i had a problem where it was leaking so one went and my ex came over there and he pulled the paneling back and he never did put it back up but it's old and everything so it's and the skylight probably need some repairs done on it. It's not leaking, but I know this where my boyfriend had put plastic. You have insects at the bottom of the plastic. Mm. So, so it might be a little, you know, opening. Where, they, where they were getting in, but I haven't seen any of those at all, but it's still there. Okay. So it's probably need something done there. All right, then what kind of timeline are you on? Uh, when would you like to be done with the house completely? Well, I guess before it goes into foreclosure, well, there's no letter yet for foreclosure. I actually could have stayed and saved the house, but it was like a lot that needs to be done. Did, so they haven't given you a date yet for when the auction is? No. Okay. Okay. And then uh, what is your goal as far as a price? How much would you like to sell it for? So the house is... My mortgage is one hundred twenty-three thousand to pay off. Okay. So you want to sell it for? I'm sorry. Go ahead. What were you ready to say? Yeah, I was just asking. And so, uh, what was your goal? Just to get that covered, or are you trying to? What What is your main goal? To get that covered is my main goal. But if I could walk away with something, that would be nice as well. 
Okay, and so if there was a way we can structure a deal where we could buy the house as is uh, and, and make sure we cover that loan that's on there and put something in your pocket, would that pretty much solve your problem? It would. Okay. And then uh, what are the payments on the house right now? Uh, $1,220. $1,220. And does that include the taxes and insurance? Yes. All right. And then did they give you an amount? Uh, how much is it to like catch up the loan and bring it current? Like this 24,000. I'm going to talk 24,000. 2,400. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Uh-uh. Yeah, because sometimes, um, you know, depending on the situation, we are able to structure a deal where we can, you know, we could either take over those payments and get you cashed out, get you some money so that you, it helps you do what you want to do. And uh, we just take it over from there and uh, we will repair the house and everything. You think something like that would help you out? That would. Perfect. So how could I go about seeing the property? So I have somebody coming out Friday at 1030. So it would have to be before that or after that. And it's in, uh, it's in horrible condition, like really, because I'm a hoarder. So there is no unity in there. Stuff is everywhere. And you said somebody is coming Friday. Who is that? Uh, another company. Oh, okay. Well, I want to buy it. They don't even have to come. You can tell them they can waste. It. They don't want to waste their gas. I'm buying it. I live around the corner. <laughs> and you want to buy it? Yep. This is what we do. We solve these types of real estate problems for people. Um, I mean, it sounds like you're pretty reasonable with everything. You're not asking for anything, you know, over the top. But sometimes we talk to people, they're like, oh, I need 500000 And the house maybe right. 150 fixed up. And I'm like, that's not real. <laughs> so, roughly speaking, I mean, I know you haven't seen anything. How much do you think I would probably walk away with? That's a good question. Um, it just depends on, you know, you said it needs quite a bit of work. I would need to see what that is. But. Um, what what would you like to walk away with in your pocket at closing and be done with the house? I don't know that this is your uh, forte, so I'm asking you. Yeah, I would probably need to check the condition of it, just to be honest with you, because I don't want to give you, you know, some false promise. But I uh, would. I'm not, I wouldn't hold you to it. I was just curious. No. Uh, let me do a quick check. One second. Um, let's see okay. here. Over on Indian Cup. You say you. Uh, Let's see here. And so if you were to sell it, and then I'm thinking of repairs. I'm trying to get an idea what the repair estimate would be. You think it's a full rehab? Hey Chris, that you? Uh, carpet, doors. You might want to do the paneling, and fix the skylights, and uh, select the floors or whatever. Okay, and so... Let me pull out my calculator here. So I'm gonna estimate repairs at about maybe sixty thousand to like renovate the entire house. Yeah, that sounds about right. Give or take. What about the roof? Is that in good condition or how's that? The, the roof is in good condition. Okay, roof and then HVAC. How's that? That's fine. Let's see. If we were to do a cash offer, we would be. Probably around. Let me see. Seven. There. And there. I'm trying to fill in a form here that kind of helps me quickly. Uh, we do about sixty thousand in repairs. Yeah, we would probably be. Who we? Probably in the low hundreds. Probably like around. It probably, I mean, from what it sounds like, to be honest with you, it sounds like it would probably be lower than what you owe on it. But I, I am able to structure a deal where we can make sure we can get you some money out of the deal. Um, okay, so what would that be? If there it's was, a, if there was a way, say, if we can get you, I don't know, four or five grand cash at closing, would that help you out at all? Or yeah, that'd be cool. Okay. Well, I mean, if that works for you, I mean, I think that would work for us because so basically like I was saying what we would do is we would structure the deal around the debt that's on the property and so uh, we wouldn't have to bring so much money we would just have to bring the repair amount that's 60000 plus any closing costs we cover that as well and whatever money that we give you which is like I said four to five thousand 
And so if we can do oh, that, are you ready would to you do it in the chat form or you would do that cash money? Uh, we would do it uh, through the title company. So you can either pick up a check or you can get a bank wire. A lot of people like to get a wire because it's quicker, but you know, it's totally up to you. Are you in town or would you be out of town or something like that? I'm in town. Oh, okay. So yeah, either way you would want to do it. You could either pick up a check or, um, you know, like I said, have a bank wire. Uh, which way would you want to have it? Okay. So if, if that works for you, I mean, I'm more than, like I say, I can take a look, look at it, see if this works, and uh, I can get you some paperwork and get the process started today. How about that? Well, that would be cool. I got a, a car in there that I got to get out of there. So it's a lot that I got to get out. I got rent and stuff. I was going to try to sell some of that stuff, but I don't think I'm going to sell it. You have the title for the car? I do. Okay. Well, I can help you with that. I actually have a rental car business as well. Uh, so we buy cars and stuff, and I know people that buy them. Even if I don't buy it, I know somebody that probably would. It's, it's an old car. It's an 86 Thunderbird, but I can't get the hood up. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I would have to go in front. Uh, I would have to go, you know, where the grill is at. But I, the nails are kind of, I mean, not the nails, the screws are kind of hard to unscrew. Mm -hmm. But I can be able to get it out then. I mean, get it up then. Right. Well, like I said, I can help you with that. That's not a problem. You know, if that's something you want to try to get something for, like I said, I know people that deal with it. Because we buy houses in every different condition you can think of. Some of them have vehicles in the driveway or in the house. And they're like, what do we do with this? We have a guy that comes out and they'll, you know, make an offer on it, basically. And then what about you buying the rims? I'd have to see them. You know, I don't want to make any claim on that. Our main, okay. our main thing is real estate. Secondary would come, you know, anything contents. I try to help you liquidate as much as you can to get as much money out of the deal as possible, because I know that's the okay. main goal. And uh, I'll try to help you with that either way. Uh, All right, thank you. Let me see here, and I think I have your email address here. Yes, at ninety five at Gmail. So I can send this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a purchase agreement drafted up. I'll send it over to you via email. Uh, once you uh, docu-sign that, uh, we can get the process started. We'll put the funds to the side to make sure we get you exactly what we offer. Um, outside of that, do you have the most recent mortgage statement for the house? Ah, uh, that I don't. I have them sending me to pay off though. They've been mailing it to you, I guess? Yeah, they're going to mail it. Well, that's something we can get later, but... Um, that's something we would need, you know, prior to closing, because like I said, we, we're going to structure the deal where you can actually get some money out of it and uh, make this an easy transaction for you. Other okay, than that, that um, nice. any questions or anything for me? No, not at all. OK, so once I send this over to your email, is there uh, anybody else that has to sign off on it or anything? Or is it just your? No, husband? I'm the only one. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, like I said, I'm going to help you through this all the way through either way. And uh, my name is Chris, and I'm with St. Louis Cash Bars. I'm going to text you right after this call, all of my contact information, everything. And then I'll uh, email you this uh, DocuSign over here shortly, okay? Okay, well, I need to just call the other people and tell them not worry, again. Don't even worry about it. They, they're wasting their time. I live right around the corner. I could probably walk to your house. <laughs> so Where do you stay at? Uh, I'm right over, uh, like, on the border of Florissant and Hazelwood. Uh, okay. So right on uh -huh. the border. So I'm, I don't know exactly how far this is, but I'm pretty sure it's not too far. It's, it's okay. walking. To, it's it's a, probably a mile or two away. If that. Okay, it's not far at all. Yep. And then how do I get inside the property? That's what I want to know also. I'll have to be there for you to let you in. Okay, that's not a problem. We'll schedule that. But I'll uh, get this started here for you for now. Make sure we get this secure. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call back, text anything you need. And uh, we'll go from there, okay? Now, with you not looking at it, you can still offer me some money to walk away with. 100%. We do it all the time. Okay. Well, let me call this other guy and tell him you don't have to worry about it. Yep. There, we're good to go. We'll make it happen. I'll solve your problem either way. This is what we do. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Right, Woohoo! That's called scorch the earth, baby. Scorch that earth. Don't let nobody else steal your deal. But now I gotta go get the purchase and contract, purchase and sales agreement sent over to her. Um, we're gonna do this deal. First thing we're gonna do is send a purchase agreement. If there is an auction pending, which I don't see one, she said there is none, and I didn't see one pending. 
I'm going to send that over so we can get uh, equitable interest in the deal. Um, and we're buying the house subject to the existing financing. And I'm going to put on the contract, we'll get her uh, 4000 at, at, at closing. So even if we uh, buy the house subject to and catch up the arrears, that's fine. Or I could always do uh, a short sale if needed. I don't think it is because it seems like the ARV on this property is around 250 uh 240 to 250 so it's got some equity um and we're gonna make this deal happen so give this video a thumbs up give it a like give it a share if you care futurecashflowclub.com we are so i want to get into real estate but don't know where to start well what i would say is to join the future cash flow club it's a community of investors where we talk about wholesaling we talk about creative deal structuring buying houses subject to all of the creative stuff that everybody's talking about you don't need a real estate license or any of that wow where do i sign up well i would say go to futurecashflowclub.com that's futurecashflowclub.com you can even get a free trial try it out today find more leads than you can even process that's multiple listing service that's the mls for your real estate agents absentee owner information find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide pull a pre-foreclosure list and don't forget you gotta find those comps get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. Are you looking for the best dialer to reach your leads? Try OnlineBurnerPhone.com. You can reach four times more contacts per hour and build a stronger, more engaged pipeline. Now, when you check this out at onlineburnerphone.com, you no longer have to listen to voicemail recordings. Once you hear they pick up by voicemail, you simply press a button and it leaves your personalized voicemail for your prospect. You can also send personalized emails. You can also retarget your contacts. And guess what? All calls are recorded and tracked for quality and training purposes. Try it out today with no credit card. Onlineburnerphone.com. OnlineBurnerPhone.com.